is Tara, so I'm back to share with you one last project that I created for my friend Anna for her birthday. Um, I wanted to alter, I was going to alter a pizza box, but then I decided I wanted to go old school and I decided to alter a, well, it's not really a cigar box, but kind of a cigar box. It's more like a jewelry box. So I believe I got this from either Joann's or Michael's. Um, I painted it with some Martha Stewart paint and I believe the color is fruit punch. I'm sorry I don't have it in front of me right now. Um, and it's one of their, her pearlized paints, which I love to use. So um, the paper collection is the Summer Fiesta paper. And yeah, and then I just kind of embellished it. So this was part of the 12 by 12 paper collection. And I just loved it. It just looked festive and fun. So I just added some bling. Um, a sticker from the collection. This smile is a glitter sticker. I want to say it's either from this year or last year. I'm not quite sure. Um, but so, and then I also edged the paper with my gold leafing pen. So I'll bring it up close so you guys can see. But yeah, so that is the top of the box. And then I edged the entire box with this really pretty yellow trim that I got from AliExpress and this small little pom-pom trim also from AliExpress. If I can, if the seller is still selling this, I will link it down below. And I'm just going to turn it over real quick. So this is the back, again, the coordinating paper. So let's take a peek inside. All right. So I'll just show you the top first. So here I, um, again, just used some coordinating paper, some of the die cuts from that particular collection. This is another die cut. I did add some um, stickles to the inside of the margarita glass and also on the little lime right there. Hopefully you can see that. Um, some more stickers from the collection and then I just kind of clustered a bunch of flowers here on the side. So, and they're all, I wanna say, wild orchid craft flowers I did make like a little bead spray I don't know if you can see that it's really tiny <laughs> but I did make a little bead spray and stuck it in the corner there so that is what the inside of the lid looks like I think it came out really cute I it took me a long time to do this because I just could not I don't know I'm horrible with layering number one and then I just changed my mind so much so <laughs> yeah but I like the way that it came out in the end. Okay, so down here I just created some um, goodies for her. So here's some yellow crepe paper rosettes that I glittered and stuck them onto a postcard that is part of this collection. And I did add some sequins at the bottom. Here are some paper rosettes that I made using my Tim Holtz die. And it is this one. I know I've shown it before, but it's the Thin Lits die. And I believe I used, I know I used this one. So I used this one and this one for these rosettes here. Added some sequins at the bottom. I did add some uh, stickles like I always do to all of my um, paper rosettes. And then here's the postcard that I added it to. Again, some more um, paper flowers, paper rosettes. I did leave the centers blank because I know that she likes to add her own centers, so I didn't want to, you know, add my my bling to it. <laughs> um, and I did use some sequins at the bottom, and there's the postcard for that one. Okay, I also made her some more of these rosettes, crepe paper rosettes that I did glitter and added some sequins to the bottom of that. I die cut out this um, piece of paper using like a wonky frames die and I got that from AliExpress. So that's that. And then these are the die cuts from the collection. Um, and I just added a topper to it and then just some um, a rosette bow that I die cut out um, I want to say this is uh, my creative time though and just added one of my little create tags so that is that 
those are all the die cuts that came in that pack and then here's the bottom again I just papered it and then added a couple stickers clear stickers that are from the collection so that is pretty much it oh I did add some on the sides let you guys see that some clear stickers on the side there so yeah so that is what I made um, I think this is the final yeah it is the final project <laughs> And now I can finally ship this out to her. I know she's been waiting a long, long time. And I do apologize, Anna, but yeah. <laughs> you already know how I roll, girl. You you already know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I will leave a link. Um, once I pack everything up and send it off to her and she opens it, I will leave a link to her um, video because I know she's going to do a video. She didn't have to, but I know she is. <laughs> I'll leave a link um, of her opening up everything so you guys can see her reaction. And I'm very excited. I cannot wait to see what she thinks about everything. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this um, altered box, this altered wooden box. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.